Hi everyone, uh, welcome back, it's Baldy Chris again. Um, we had a, a close call with uh, the rat fight yesterday, got very, very close to beating it, and um, I, I realised having watched it back that had I actually used the strafe gun that I'd picked up, probably would have got a faster kill on the, the rat and got through to the punch out phase. So um, hopefully we can do a little bit better this time around, although already made a, a mistake and uh, selected Paradox rather than Gunslinger as my, my preferred character. Um, which uh, doesn't really speak volumes about the uh, my abilities with tar targeting really if I've managed to get the wrong character entirely. Um, but uh, I mean, let's have a quick look see what it gets. It's, it is random. I've got a flash gun. I think I had that with him before. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, and um, an ammo increase uh, ammo capacity increase as well. Um, yeah, I, I did another series where I played as each individual character, and uh, it was actually as the paradox that I did best, so we'll give it a go, see how we get on. Do find life easier with the gunslinger and the uh, associated item synergies, but sometimes it's just about the items themselves, so we'll see what we get. Although it is slightly after lunchtime uh, at the point I'm recording this, that was a little. Oh, and I got stuck in the doorway as well. Don't don't like that. Go away. Oh, that was really close. Um, yeah, it's it's just after lunchtime. Um, or well, it, it is lunchtime, but I, I've just had breakfast. I'm <laughs> not a morning person <laughs> at all. And uh, yeah, to be fair, the recording I did was quite a late one yesterday. Um, so, ooh, is that how many more bat shots are we going to get there? Yeah, so I just had breakfast now. I was at the supermarket last night and um, I suffer greatly from an affliction uh, that I've christened Yellow Sticker Madness, uh, which is where I just I can't resist buying all the, uh, the marked down <laughs> items that they've got, uh, you know, either to eat that night or pop in the freezer or do whatever. And I always, always, always buy too much. I mean, the the place I go, which is uh, Morrison's, so if they want to sponsor me, hopefully really ambitious, let's give them a mention. Um, then, um, yeah, they can mark things down to uh, about 90% of the, uh, sorry, buy about 90% of the original price, uh, depending on whether you catch them at the absolute right time of the, the evening. And, um, you know, when you're looking at things that are costing you know, 10, 20 p or, or, or however much they are, it's just, it just seems rude to leave them there. I mean, I, I don't like letting things go to waste anyway, um, so extra blank there, that's nice. But yeah, the, the problem is I always forget I, how much I can actually put inside me, <laughs> and it's always, always less than what I come away with. So I've just had, uh, I went particularly mad with baked goods yesterday. So I had a whole bunch of um, that my my late breakfast today was was some of these baked goods. So I had Scotch pancakes, I've had crumpets, I've had lemon muffins, uh, and uh, some scones as well, of which one or two of each at least. Uh, mainly one. It was two of the pancakes. They're not very big. Uh, so yeah, but glad I'm not on the Atkins diet because I've I've completely broken it. I think you can use that grappling hook to steal. Um, if you aim it very carefully, although there isn't really anything here that I want to steal just yet, um, and as is always the case in these videos, because it is just rat items that I'm outstanding, I want to be going to the rat fight, and if you haven't already heard me saying in the, the videos, uh, you need to buy a, a particular key to get into the rat fight, which is a fairly expensive item, 115 credits, or shell casings is the technical term I suppose, there's a key, that's nice. Um, so yeah, the, the trick is to try and be able to get there and, and preserve enough cash uh, to do it, so I'm probably not going to be buying something like the escape rope which is of, of limited use for what I'm trying to do. It's good in other contexts, it's, it's a good thing to have if you're trying to unlock the robot because it's... actually no, that's the escape rope, not the grappling rope. Forget that. Forget that. It's no, it's no use trying to unlock the robot whatsoever. Okay, so I think 
bone. I haven't been ev absolutely everywhere yet. Um, but we've got two keys, and <laughs> again, as is usually the case, I'm going to be intending to go to the Oubliette. Um, this is the entrance to the Oubliette, Speak of the Devil. And thankfully, no enemies in there. So, nice, easy way to, to access it. It's, uh, no risk of the water barrel getting popped, so there's the fire out, and there's a switch in there that you have to interact with. Um, so, there uh, is the the entrance that we'll be going to. Um, but the, it, it opens up a room with a hatch in it, and there's two keys needed for that hatch, which is precisely how many keys we've got. So, at the moment, I can't open the the chests on this room, uh, this floor. Sure, the, the shopkeeper must have at least one key for sale. I think he, he always has to have at least one key for sale. Uh, and he does. I think rather than try to take on the boss with a, a starter weapon, I will spare the cash for a key. Uh, go for the better of the two chests. Neither is particularly good, but uh, blue is the, the better of the, the two available. Um, check it's not a mimic. And it's not a weapon, it's just a bit of a health backup, so having tried to avoid doing a starter pistol fight against the boss, I'm going to be doing a starter pistol fight against the boss. Um, but yeah, it should at least stop us from dying, although the, the preference isn't so much... Well, obviously surviving would be a prerequisite to, <laughs> to making any great achievements in the game. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's the flawless victory rather than pure survival that's the, the ultimate aim, uh, really, because it rewards you with getting um, a master round which generates a, an extra heart container. There we are, completely lost out on it. Obviously I'm pretty damn cornered there. I was trying to be clever and focus on one of the, the two twins rather than the other, because it gets a whole lot easier when there is only one of them to, to deal with, because their attack patterns don't interfere with each other. Could do without their little junior assistants as well, that just complicate things even further still. I think we've just about got one of them. Let's clear out the juniors quickly. And completely mistime that little escape. But yeah, when there is just the one left, hopefully can just keep your distance and stay out of trouble. Um, a lot easier to deal with one rather than two. So yeah, I must have taken a couple of hits there, which is non-ideal in the extreme. But there's recouping the health, no extra health unfortunately. Extra armour which is nearly as good as health. And the balloon gun, which is, is not a bad weapon actually. It's um, So long as you don't get hit, it's one of these ones where um, the uh, the ammo empties out completely if you take a hit. Did I just pick up a key? I didn't, did I? But two. Two is exactly how many I need, so um, let's just destroy... Oh, I forgot the Paradox had a backup weapon. Why on earth did I take on that fight with uh, with just the, the basic weapon? God. Absolute amateur at times. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't play as the Paradox often. I, I think I explained in the video where I was showing how to actually get him uh, at the time I'd unlocked him. He, he does cost credits to play, which is one reason why I didn't bother restarting with the Gunslinger. He's my preferred character. Um, he cost credits to play, and at the time I unlocked him I wanted to use those credits to actually buy um, other weapons um, and so on and so forth. So I never really played as him much um, apart from actually using him to, to unlock the Gunslinger. And then once you got the Gunslinger Gunslinger is more the, the go-to guy. Okay, so we're looking for secret rooms at the moment, just checking for cracks in the wall. Probably not there, considering there's a room beneath it. Not there either. Check over at the exit. We've got an extra blank as well, which might be worth hanging on to rather than just using speculatively trying to find a secret room. Um, that's the, the most obvious place is checked and then there's the um, the shop is a potential as well this shop isn't really 100% the right shape to do it although its location leaves scope to the left and below it um, and even above it to a certain extent to to have a secret room so 
No, I'll, I'll hang on to the blank, and um, that just leaves a chest to junk, or did I already do that? I did, I've got junk in the inventory. Right, let's just go to the Ebliat and see how we get on in there. So, yeah. Two, um, two keys to open that hatch, and then there's a little save button there, should you ever wish to sort of take a break from the game and come back at a later stage. It's... It's not something I bother with a great deal. I tend to just try and get the game finished in one sitting. Um, but it, it can be useful to, you know, if, you've, if a game goes longer than expected. If you get a clone, for example, you could be looking at a very long run, so you might have some prior engagement that you, you need to take a pause for. Um, what else? Uh, actually, I don't really need to fill the, the rainbow gun. Let's use the rainbow gun for a little bit and try to avoid getting hit. Yeah, the, the rainbow guns projectiles hang around for a fair while as well, um, which is, oh, whoa. If we'd gone in the water there, that presumably would have counted as a hit and um, emptied the ammunition out of this. It should have been a, a very stupid way to lose it. Right, this room's likely to give me a hit, so I'm just going to change weapon and avoid the possibility of losing the ammo out of the rainbow gun. Flash ray is supremely inaccurate. <laughs> Just shooting either side of that damn bullet can. Rainbow gun pretty powerful, um, so long as you can hang on to the ammo, which you're doing a reasonable job of so far. Again, I'm going to change the, uh, the gun for this room because there's just so much going on. Okay, all done. So yeah, harking back to the, the supermarket, um, a friend of mine was thinking that I should call this channel Yellow Sticker Madness um, with because I do it so often, I mean every, every time I go into the supermarket really um, and sort of start doing videos that share the the, the, the bounty that I've, I've, I've managed to pick up and how little I've been able to pick it up for and so on and so forth um, I don't really know if um, people would be terribly interested in seeing that or if there's any kind of crossover with the the gaming side of things is probably going to be mostly gaming that the, the channel is intended for. But, um, you know, if you've got any thoughts on that, uh, leave a comment and you never know, maybe we will. Horribly cornered right here. Uh, yeah, another uh, strange thing that happened when I was in there as well was that... Um, it, I don't know if they still do single, singles night in the supermarket or if that's ever been a thing. I mean, it's a, a, you read about it being a thing, but I've never actually seen it put into practice in getting on for half a century on the planet. But the, there were loads of um, uh, attractive women in there on their own yesterday. <laughs> um, far, far more so than, than, than usual. Um, which, I mean, the, the place is usually pretty empty when I go, which is when the the discounts are at their, their peak and um, so they've given up the idea that if there's anyone there that might actually buy them at a, a higher price, so oh, silly hit. Um, but yeah, there's loads of, I mean, I don't know that they're necessary single women, um, and then had one definitely very unusual moment where um, a sort of gothic looking girl um, sort of looked over in my direction, I figured she was just looking at what was on a shelf behind me or something like that, um, but then realised that she was definitely looking at me, made eye contact and gave her uh, a great big smile, um, and, and then walked away, um, and I, I don't know what it was about, I was wearing a mask, I know you don't 
still have to, um, but I, I do tend to out of the, you know, uh, just respect for the, the guys that, that do work in the, the shop. It's, it's not as if you're in there for terribly long, um, so you're used to doing it from when you did have to, so I figure I might as well carry it on for a bit longer until hopefully the whole public health situation settles down a bit. Um, so it's not as if she could see my full face, so I don't know if it was uh, that she was smiling at the sheer number of yellow stickered items in the trolley, uh, which maybe wasn't necessarily obvious from where she was stood. Oh, silly hit again! Um, or um, if it was because of the, the Iron Maiden top that I was wearing, um, like I say, she looked a bit gothic. I d presumed it was a band t-shirt she was wearing, although I, it was one of those ones where um, you can't really make out what the logo says. Uh, I certainly didn't recognise it. Um, or whether it was the case that like, she had any level of attraction to me whatsoever, but considering why not I was wearing a mask, you, you'd have thought that wouldn't leave terribly much opportunity to, to make an impression. Like, the last few months you just sort of see someone and think, oh, they've got nice eyes, so you've got no idea what the rest of the face looks like, it's about all you can tell. So I was left a little bit baffled, and um, she wasn't actually on her own at either at, at that point she was I saw her again later on and shit there was another girl with her another attractive girl actually and I don't know if they were friends, sisters, mother, daughter or whatever I'm terrible at, at working out the ages of, of women um, so I thought rather than sort of go, go how you doing or <laughs> whatever appalling opening line I might have I, I am quite shy so um, obviously I'd go into YouTube broadcasting as a, a shy person why, why wouldn't you? Oh, oh, for goodness sake. Right, I thought that room was uh, looking a bit dangerous. I'd fire off a few rainbow gun shots and uh, hopefully clear things out and immediately took a hit and emptied my ammunition out of it before I got off a single bloody round. Useless. So yeah, ra rather than sort of try and <laughs> pull some um, crappy pickup line uh, <laughs> and embarrass myself in front of whoever the other person she was with was. God, that's a starter weapon now, this is not good. So much for picking the uh, the Paradox. Down to half health as well. Yeah, th this isn't showing the makings of a great run. I suppose we've got health in reserve from the... Uh, the, the, the ration that we picked up earlier. Uh, we've got a little bit of ammo back there as well. Uh, yeah, so I've just left her to it, but I mean, like I say, I, you, you never know quite why someone chooses to look and smile at you and whether you're misinterpreting it in, in some way, so uh, I will never know unless, of course, I see her in there again, but it's kind of a weird one to bring up. It's like, why were you smiling at me? It <laughs> seems sort of accusatory um, rather than just curious as to exactly what the intent was. But, We'll say. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's certainly something that happens infrequently enough uh, that is worth mentioning. Um, and, uh, yeah. Even more unexpected, like I say, wearing a mask. So, yeah. Anyway, what, what, what's happening here in Gungeon? Never mind my adventures in Morrison's. Okay, have we uh, we need a key for the old crest, which I'd, I'd only be using as a, a bonus bit of armour at this stage. Got two green chests to pick from. Got, got a key, so we can have either one of them. Let's pick that one at random. And that's... is that Gilded Bullets? It is, which I think means the more money you have, the stronger your bullets become. Yeah, wealth increases damage, that's a nice, succinct description. Uh, and that's handy, we've got a reasonable amount of cash, and like I said earlier, not intending to spend it because we're saving up for the Nord key. Have a look in the shop anyway. Certainly wouldn't be buying the KC. Um, I, I don't like it. I know, I know people rave about it. I, I really hate it. It's probably just because I'm crap at using it and can't afford that. And it's it's an okay weapon, but I probably wouldn't go out of my way to buy that. So, where were we? We were down here, weren't we? 
open up that little door and check out what's in here, which presumably must be getting quite close to the boss fight now. Thank goodness I managed to avoid taking the hit there. Yeah, this gun is now taking on, um, or the bullets rather, the whirlwinds in fact, are taking on a golden hue because we've got the, the gilded bullet and power up going on. Yeah, they, these bullets, they do damage more than once as well, as you can see there. And uh, once I've filled that up, I will probably just flood the boss fight with these. Um, and then, oh, here, here we are. Well, that, that's, that's basically everything, isn't it? So, it is. Yeah, we'll flood the, the boss fight with the little golden whirlwinds and then change to something else. Flash Ray might be good enough to to hit something the size of the Blobulord, <laughs> given how pretty rubbish the, the aim on it has otherwise been. Yeah, it's not really ramping up the, the damage there, I don't think. Okay. Oh, I thought I'd changed the weapon just at the right time there. Poo. <laughs> second hit as well. I mean luckily we're not chasing down a flawless here or anything but yeah I don't want to be wasting health either even with the health item in reserve. Go away little mini blob. Okay is that the special loot? Really special loot. I think that's something to do with Zelda. I'm not. Um, I, I quite like Zelda, but I really haven't ever played enough Nintendo to be that familiar with it. Oh, we managed to shoot that open. So it's extra weapon and a synergy. What was that synergized with? Well, with having junk, presumably just makes it a bit more powerful or some such. Right, um, secret rooms. Possibly could be a passage leading off that wall, but it seems very unlikely. This room's got much more potential. There we go. And don't mind using a blank when you know that there is um, definitely a secret room available. Um, so yeah, topped up the health, which is helpful, and some fleeting defense, as it says, also helpful. And wax wings, yeah, so you can fly. Uh, well, you move a bit faster as well, but you can also fly. So, uh, very much doubt. I know I've already looked in the shop, just to make absolutely sure. I wouldn't really want to be eating into the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the cash reserves that we've got there. Could maybe buy a key down to 58. Actually, no, probably not. Okay, right, let's head to the second floor and try to get the is it, ne about 30 that's needed to, to get the Nord key and then hopefully get a bit more besides and be able to go on a bit of a, a shopping spree there. I mean, it'd be, <laughs> be nice actually if there was an in-game mode where if you played at a certain time it, you could go yellow sticker mad. <laughs> And save yourself a, a, a bob or two. But a 90 cent discount in, in this would be amazing. I mean, th there are some things that do give you discounts, never as good as 90%. Um, the last video actually, we had um, the, the old five finger discount. I was able to steal a few uh, tasty items, and ultimately, I think I failed to use one of the the best ones that I did steal and yeah, d died a, a rat death which is very annoying since the whole point of this exercise is trying to beat the rat okay oh well, I'm using the starter pistol particularly 
the uh, the robot starter pistol, which oh dear, it is quite a good one actually. It's, it's I think the one of the best starter weapons in the game. Um, certainly, it's got a very big magazine on it, which is further boosted by the, the drum clip that we got here. Okay, we've got the the wager guy um, up here. So, what does he want us to do? Hmm. Not guaranteed. Sometimes you get an absolute piece of piss room. Um, if you win the challenge, you get the money back. So, I'm going to give it a go. Also, I think we can probably live with a, a setback of uh, 18, even if we don't. Yeah, sometimes you, you go in and there's just a really, really simplistic trap. Uh, which is extremely easy to avoid, and you're like, well, is that it? Is that all you want for your money, please? Oh, 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 I can't take damage off the poison because we're flying over it. Okay, yes, that was relatively easy in the end. Yeah, give me all my money. So we have definitely got enough, and then we've got this Titanic-themed thing. Um, which, again, I've had recently as well. The game does really seem to be recycling the weapons on me at the moment. Yeah, it's not a fantastic weapon, but anything that freezes an enemy is just gives you a little advantage of being able to take a few cheap shots at it. Did I just shoot the wall there? <laughs> That was not a well-chosen shot, cheaper otherwise. But yeah, so the executioners there are usually quite tricky enemies. Um, but if they're just frozen and can't shoot back at you, well then, there's a lot of their threat gone right there. Haven't found the other chest yet. Be nice to find something a bit better than green, but anything more than that is relatively rare, unfortunately. But still, always like to leave it and find out. Is that the uh, altar room? Yeah. Okay, back to the start. Do not get hit. Blank, always nice. So that will come in handy in the boss fight, assuming I remember to actually set it off. Must be relatively close to. I was going to say unlocking the boss, this is a mini boss. Right, okay. Yeah, definitely changed weapon at the right time to save the ammo in, in the rainbow gun. You dead yet? Oh, now you gave us a. I don't know if you saw it flying across there. Um, a gold shell casing, which is why my um, money total has really ramped up now. Um, yeah, you know, quite often they'll leave. Uh, a lot of stuff behind them. This this one hasn't done too much. I'm not going to pick up the heart just yet because it's a full heart and I'm only missing half a heart. And I don't want to open a blue chest um, unless we get a, an absolute surfeit of keys when there's already a green chest around, which is better. Quite often the ones they drop um, will... Um, not need a key to open them at all, which is always welcome. The best type of chest is one that doesn't have a lock on it. So we have got some options here. I'm going to buy the, the Nord key first of all. That's the definitely first on the agenda. The bait launch is quite fun as well. I'll, I'll pick it up just because it's fun and you don't see it that often. Um, it's uh, non-specific. You'll 
maybe see what I mean here. So, oh, I forgot it takes a while to charge up. So, you throw meat in and then tigers appear in the room. And as you saw, they were fired at the one on the left, but the tiger appeared from elsewhere on the screen. And again, there they've. Uh, they attack the the enemy that's nearest to them when they come in, rather than necessarily the enemy that you actually fire at. Um, I could have just flown across there rather than roll across there. Um, so like I say, it's, it's fun to use, if you remember about the charging time. So yeah, that, again, it's not really that weapon, that, that, weapon, that enemy that I want you to fight. It was very much the executioner, and unfortunately it didn't actually do solid enough damage to it to, to kill it. That's two tiger hits it's taken. Looks like a... Oh, is that still not dead or is that another one that spawned in? So maybe the tiger's not quite as strong as I thought. Seriously? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it lo looks like hitting it with the, the meat is doing some damage as well. Okay, uh, yeah, let's try something a little bit more tried and tested than that one. Like I say, it's it's fun. Um, the the fun weapons aren't necessarily the the good ones. to charm one of the enemies there, uh, so it's attacking the others. Not anymore. Yeah, for all that that weapon's got a, a big old spread on it, it it's probably too big and the, the enemies are just managing to sneak right between the bullets. Okay, um, well we'll go get the full heart since we now need a full heart. And there was method to my madness. Um, got one key, probably not enough to buy a second key. We don't, we don't need to conserve the cash anymore because we've got the Nord key. What's that one? That's that's armor, um, and armor every floor at that. So that that's <laughs> that definitely befits someone like me who's constantly getting hit. And then the boss fight, which we ought to be able to survive. Um, what's going to be best to use against it? With the rainbow gun that's now empty, and I haven't got enough to buy a replacement ammo. Maybe try the trash cannon uh, and the, the the bait gun. Don't necessarily need to fire the bait at the gorgon herself. Uh, you really keep a distance because there is only up one enemy in the room, so it's no surprise to work out which one the tiger's going to go for. Doing a fairly decent uh, chunk of damage on each attack. Not actually getting to see them, they're taking place off screen. But and her poison's no threat, so I can just fly over it. So, <laughs> this is quite an effective way of dealing with this particular boss. Although, those bullets can sometimes collapse in on you, I think. I'm not taking any chances, I would like the flawless. Prove I can get them every once in a while. Okay, she's on the move again with that last tiger, is that enough? Not quite. That should be it now. Yeah, I was worried that we uh, we weren't going to have the tiger come in and have to use up another blank. 
I mean, at, at this point I've got two blanks left, um, and you get two blanks each floor, so it wouldn't exactly have been wasting them. So health that can't be used, key, um, uh, the extra health, let's put some ammo in the bloody bullet gun. And that's Smiley's revolver, is it, or is it Eye of the Beholster? Shades revolver, that's it's one of the, the trigger twins, the bosses from the first floor. Okay, so we did get a key. Um, we will need a key to get into the the rat's lair, um, but I'd, I'd be ex extremely surprised if we don't get enough cash uh, across the entirety of the third floor to buy uh, another key. So I'll open that one up now. And it was what was it? The charmed bow. Yeah, charm bow. Um, right, let's have a quick look for secret rooms and then we'll head off to the third floor. Let's try finding it with a weapon that fires a little bit more rapidly. Is that a crack? Yes, it was. So sometimes it's really obvious, other times it's not at all obvious. And like a troll, I need a key for that. I don't don't think we've got enough to buy a key. Despite him having loads to sell, of course we haven't got enough. Too, too sure, and I've not seen a cell creep lurking around the place or anything like that. So um, unfortunately, it's just going to have to be shoot these last couple of chests and see what we get out of them, if anything. Oh, more trolling. Uh, a heart that is to be saved for later and n later is now as far as this game is concerned. Where's where's that blue chest? There it is. So yeah, no no benefit to the, the extra health there. And the junk. Now we, we did have the synergy between the, the junk and the trash can and I don't know if that improves with each subsequent junk pickup. Um, it didn't do a blue arrow so presumably the synergy is just a, a one-off occurrence. Yeah we, we could fish hearts out of the sweetie jar but I really have to go out of my way to lose hearts at this point. Uh, that on an empty floor I mean. I'm <laughs> fairly confident there'll be hits taken in the not too distant future on the third floor but yeah even for me on an empty floor when I've got the gift of flight I would find it quite hard work to take a take some damage there we go we've got extra armor coming into the floor as well because of the the gun knight whatever it was that we picked up last time Maybe more health but this time, saving it for later might actually prove useful. I don't know that this gun is necessarily the best to be using for room clearing, really. Uh, what with the, the danger of losing the ammo. And maybe I should keep it in reserve for a boss, I don't know. I was going to say leave a couple swirling around him for when he comes out, but didn't have the desired effect. Let's, let's fill it up and I will use something else instead. Uh, what to use? We'll try the charm bow for a little bit. Yeah, in, in the mine levels you'll see these detonators around the place which can bring about the rock falls. Um, it is possible to catch yourself in the, uh, the outcome, but uh, as long as you stay away then uh, yeah just hopefully we'll get an enemy and do some damage oh there we've charmed that, that, that as long as we stay out of the way of its bullets which will still go everywhere it should be hurting the other critters in fact both of these would be quite useful to get charmed because uh, they both throw out loads of bullets and so long as we're not in the path 
There we go, that's charmed. Go on. Bullet up the shambling round. Go on. You bugger. Yeah, as long as we're not in the path, then those bullets can go ahead and damage everything else with gay abandon. So yeah, individually the charming rounds don't appear to be terribly strong given how many it took to put down a simple bullock in there. But with the charm in place. So it stays charmed in for the next phase as well, briefly at least. There we are. Oh, well, one thing that's going to be a little bit of a drawback I've just realised is um, because we've got an item that gives flight not kicking up any dust off the floor um, because we're not touching the floor so um, we won't necessarily spot where the hatch to the rat fight is so uh, I mean the, the way to spot it is um, spotting the rats that are in the room oops charming the wrong enemy there because Oh, for good sake. Good sake? You know what I mean. Oh god, is that thing really still not dead? Clearly hitting the wrong one every single time. As with anything else, best best put down as quickly as possible. And the, the charm bow's not doing a brilliant job with that. Let's try Shades Revolver. Uh, yes, as, as I was saying before I started taking loads of hits there, was the, the way to actually spot the entrance to the rat room is the rats running round, so hopefully we will see those, even if we're not getting the, the telltale dust kicking up off the floor. Okay. That's the easiest way to hit them, is just lie in wait. There, there are some rats on the floor, I saw them. Just took one out in the ensuing explosion there. There's one right beneath me. Don't let those bubbles come to me and crash into the pillar. Oh, oh we have managed to expose the hatch anyway. Something must have blown up over it. Uh, that's that's helpful so don't have to bother dropping and re-picking up the wax wings. Okay. Right. Um, need one key for that hatch. I need to keep that in mind and I need to keep in mind that I can't use the, the blanks either. Or at least not use so many that I can't buy more if indeed there are any for sale. Right, there's the key that we need, so that's um Hopefully free money up for a more interesting purchase. I thought that central bit was a pillar, so I didn't realise I could shoot all the way across to that. And forgot, of course, I could fly across all the, the bits there if I needed to. But to be fair, st staying on the edges and behind the walls was the best way to deal with that room. We'll go back to the start. Okay, there's the shop. 
So he does have blanks. Doesn't normally necessarily. Uh, oh, I was going to say the broccoli would be nice because it's a, a strength up. That's very expensive broccoli. I mean, Morrison's would never dare. Okay, very few rooms left. I mean, we're definitely not going to get up to 126. I suppose there's a, a very remote possibility of seeing another gold casing, but I wouldn't have thought that's terribly likely. Also, as well, if we did have 126 shell casings, we've got an item that gives us damage increase based on uh, the amount of currency held. Right, let's sit flying over this so these things can't get to me directly. Um, so yeah, it, I don't know if it would be better to hang on to the money and keep the the, the damage perk associated with the money um, as compared to actually spending the money and getting the broccoli and seeing what damage perk you get off that. One of those instances where it would be helpful to know the exact mechanics of the game, um, which I'm quite sure the wiki would tell me, but I'm not about to pause this and look it up and try to find out. It, apart from anything else, we're not going to get 126 anyway, so it's largely immaterial. Okay, I can't use the key. So, I guess it's the boss fight. Try not to use blanks. Try to get a master round if possible. This gun's almost out of ammo. Uh, so, what we'll use? Use the rainbow gun to start off with. Why do I call it a rainbow gun? Balloon gun. And. Oh, the, the bait launcher did a pretty good job against the gore gun, didn't it? Let's see how we get on. No using blanks. Okay, I'm changing weapon immediately because the chance of me not taking a hit here are slim, although I did manage it. And I suppose one advantage is I can still fire off the um, tiger bait while I'm cowering down the bottom even if the boss isn't on screen at the time. I'll just <laughs> be welcomed back with a, a flurry of tigers coming in. So tempting to use a blank here because I'm cornered. Oh, for goodness sakes. <sighs> right at the end on a, something that shouldn't have been challenging. So, yeah, Master Round denied yet again. Let's fill that up anyway. <sighs> Heart that I can't use and... The... Oh, it's sort of a, a ghostbustery thing. So, right, now... So made this mistake the other day going off looking for secret rooms forgetting that I couldn't use blanks so I mean we've got enough to buy a spare blank so I'll have a look see if there are secret rooms if I don't find any definite cracks in the wall then I won't bother experimenting I'm trying to find um, secret rooms just by firing blanks off at random to make sure it's a constructive use of a blank. Well, technically destructive, but you know what I mean. Okay, so yeah, I mean potentially the shop, but like I say, I'm not, not about to try putting that to the test. So, uh, junk the chests and then head off to the rat lair and see if the setup's good enough to, <laughs> to get anywhere with it. I have my doubts, but uh, yeah, I mean. With this game, sometimes I think I'm in a weak position and manage to pull something off. Um, other times I think I'm in a strong position and then die a stupid death. So let's hope it's the first rather than the second of those two situations that actually occurs. Otherwise this will be 
uh, yet another in my anticlimax in this series of videos. But yes, for once I have actually remembered to hold on to the key to get in, just used it up, the Nord key and two blanks as well. And there's blank number one and blank number two and the Nord key. Down we go. I'm not really sure what's a, a good weapon to try and use to to go through the individual floors. Don't want to use the, the rainbow gun just in case I lose all the ammo out of it. Proton backpack might not be a, an awful shout for busy rooms. Try the icebreaker. Um, using the, the Proton backpack as a, a backup. Okay, so right, right, left. Actually, we getting much more hits away by using the beam weapon here but unfortunately the beam weapons don't do all that much damage Oof. so it's probably a likelihood that we'll just be plowing away wasting ammo Christ, will these things just bloody well die? <laughs> okay, battery levels low on the, the controller hopefully we've got enough to, to see out this particular bit, so that's, that was one right Two right. Well, that was that was a much easier room with nothing in it. I only see that once on um, once in any given run, unfortunately. <laughs> right, this is what I meant by a busy room. So, oh God, cheap hit after cheap hit after cheap hit after self hit there as well. Stop jamming things. Okay, that Grim Reaper still managed to get a swipe off at me at the end there as well. So we did right, right, left, didn't we? Um, was forgetting with the the empty room. So down, left, left now. God's sakes! Oh man! I mean, there, there will be health coming up towards the end of this section, um, but not enough to offset all the damage I've taken already. Stop jamming things! Ooh, that was unexpected. <laughs> We've got the the ration as a sort of emergency health as well. Key, there's literally no use on this floor. And sense of direction, which points the way to the, the boss fight. It's telling lies as well. It's not that way. We um, can only have one active item. Um, don't want that at all. Um, yeah, I don't know where that's pointing up. It should be pointing left. Oh, yet another hit. Right. Just use that because it's got a better range than the icebreaker. Did they die? Crikey, right. Okay, um, we'll fill that up. I won't be using that against the, the rat. Um, what else do we have that needs filling? Fill that, might as well. So start with the rainbow, uh, the balloon gun. It will not be long before I take hits uh, going into this next room though. Um, I don't know what to back that up with. Try or try a shades revolver, that's, that's relatively powerful, relatively quick. Um, now while it looks like I've only got three health which is far from ideal, 
Um, it's technically five because of that ration. We'll see how long we can hang on. Did change weapon there to avoid the uh, ammo loss. That was the wrong way to go about avoiding that for sure. Actually, go above the poison for once as well. I'm forgetting because we're not actually touching the floor. And silly hits there. I mean, it is possible to stay between them. Right. Okay. So we've got both blanks. Oh shit! Uh, he hit me more than I thought. I thought we still had the ration there. So uh, one heart health. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't think we're getting through here. I'll be extremely surprised, um, and pleasantly surprised if we do, but it's so vanishingly unlikely. Those are at least are relatively avoidable. Of course, we've lost the ammo as well. Um, what was my backup going to be? A revolver. Oh, oh there we are. Too, too late with the blank. Yeah, considering the, the set of setup going into that last phase, really not surprising. Um, apologies, yet another not being able to beat the rat due to, as he says, my sad lack of skill. So yeah, uh, get, once again, the quest for the finished gun remains ongoing and I'll have to see you next time. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.